Hey everyone, let's dive into a story that's got a lot of people talking. Imagine this, Hurricane Helene tears through Western North Carolina, leaving devastation in its wake. Families are left without homes, their lives turned upside down overnight, but then something incredible happens. The Amish community steps in, building 100 tiny homes to shelter these victims. It's a heartwarming act of kindness that gives hope to those who lost everything. Sounds like a perfect solution, right? Well, not quite. Enter the bureaucratic red tape. Local and state authorities decide that these tiny homes don't meet building codes. And just like that, the residents are evicted. Imagine being told your new safe haven isn't up to code and you have to leave. Heartbreaking, isn't it? Now, let's talk about these so-called building codes. Tents aren't considered suitable for permanent living. But in a disaster, shouldn't we be flexible? This isn't just about rules. It's about real people in desperate need. This story isn't just about the Amish or the hurricane, it's about a bigger issue. The clash between strict regulations and urgent humanitarian needs. We've seen it before after Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Sandy. The list goes on, so what do we do? We need to rethink how we handle these crises, balancing safety with compassion. Because at the end of the day, it's about helping people rebuild their lives. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more stories that matter. See you next time.